Hi everyone and welcome to my day. It's been an extremely mega, mega busy day today. I think I say that in every video, don't I? I'm sure I do. But anyway, this is a one take video and I wanna just catch you up with what I've been doing today. I wanna to show you some bits in the studio as well. The first thing I wanna show you is not only in the studio, but it's also on my wrist. Do you wanna have a look at some wrist action? Here we go, this is it. Let me just turn it on. So this is the new Samsung Gear Fit. Very, very cool, love the display. And you'll see that that is actually accompanied by my Fitbit Flex and also my Jawbone Up 24. And now I've got the new Samsung watch. So lots and lots of stuff on my wrist. It's getting a bit heavy. I'm gonna have one arm stronger than the other, aren't I? That didn't sound very good, did it? But anyway, I'm loving the Fitbit Flex. I've only had it for probably about three, four hours so far, but it is really good, very, very impressive. I'll be bringing you unbo unboxing very, very soon, getting all muddled up in my words now. Um, I've actually recorded the unboxing, but I haven't edited it yet because I've been busy uh, experimenting with other settings on Final Cut Pro 10. Now, the reason I've been experimenting with those settings is because over the last couple of days, I was recording 4K footage with the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now I have recorded 4K footage with a smartphone before, but haven't uh, sort of edited or exported anything. I just uploaded direct from the phone and that was with, what was that with? The Galaxy Note 3. So uh, I wanna just share with you, I've got some notes written down I'm gonna refer to, some of the settings that I use. And this is for everyone that uses Final Cut Pro 10. Now I've uploaded three short little video clips using different settings. And I want to explain why I uploaded those clips. So the first one, or, or not necessarily in this order, but one of them is using the Apple settings. Now Apple have an export setting for Vimeo and YouTube in 4K and it says it's going to upload up to 4096 by 2304 resolution. Now what that results in is a native resolution depending on what you recorded in. So it keeps the format the same is what you recorded in. So you actually get a 3840 by 2160 video, so 16-9 ratio that fits the YouTube player perfectly. Now, I also uploaded one in uh, 4096 by 2160, uh, which is actual sort of full 4K resolution. And what that results in is a 17-9 format image. And that's got slight black bars, top and bottom, on the screen. And then I also uploaded another one, which was using my own settings, uh, and that was at 3840 by 2160, so an exact rep replication of the format I recorded in. And again, that results in a 169 format video. But I uploaded those to YouTube just as a test for my own use, and my intention was to then delete them. But I thought, no, why delete them? I'll leave them up there and I'll just put some information in the video description about the settings I use, and it might help somebody out when they're experimenting with different uh, settings in Final Cut Pro 10 or compressor. So that's why they're still up there, just so some of you might be thinking, Dave's gone loopy, he's left three very short videos on his channel with no explanation as to what they are. Well, this is the explanation. But anyway, let me walk over here. I'll just let you know what I've been up to a little bit today. I've been sort of working on some other reviews, Belkin sent me their ultimate keyboard case. I've been working on that. I've also got a Zen ice pen. Didn't even ask for that. I don't know who sent me that, but that's another little product that's gonna be very cool. And then this, the Steinhall Flex for Gear Fit. That's from Spigen. That is already on the Gear Fit. So this has already got a screen protector on. And I always put screen protectors on. I'm not gonna change. A lot of people say to me, there's no point, absolutely no point at all in putting screen protectors on because the glass is so good nowadays, but I would rather damage a screen protector than damage a screen on a device. So that's why I do it. I do it to all of my smartphones, all of my cameras, and also it gives me peace of mind because sometimes in the studio I'm rotating stock. So I might have a smartphone come in and I want to swap that out for a newer one. For example, I just recently sold my own personal Nexus 5 that had a screen protector on, so I know that whoever's buying it is gonna get a pristine conditioned device. So that's why I do it, especially with cameras, where I swap uh, cameras that I use for the personal videos quite often, up until this one, which I haven't swapped for a long time. Um, uh, I always put a screen protector on those as well. Just the way I do it, I suppose. But anyway, I also wanna share this with you. Now, normally, 
I don't show you things before the review comes out, but I've been testing this today. This is the Ruark Audio R7. Now, I don't know if you remember, I had their MR1 Bluetooth speakers. I had them on the desk over there. And I've recently got another pair of MR1s in the editing room, but they also sent me their R7 to actually uh, do, do a review on. This is an internet radio, a DAB radio. There's also connections on the back. There's optical inputs, so you can connect things like uh, external players. Maybe you want to connect your TV to it, for example, and have it underneath your TV. This thing is amazing. Oh, and there's a CD player on the front as well. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Wow. This thing is amazing. We were doing the test on this, and I actually got my daughter to come into the room just to experience it because uh, she loves her audio and this just blew us away this is unbelievable and I mean unbelievable we didn't even put it up to full volume and you could really feel the air moving from this and it didn't distort the audio it was superb and I mean superb and this little bit in the top here that is the remote control you can actually lift this sort of puck out it's got a little magnet on it so it sort of keeps it steady inside here and this controls the system as well, wireless remote. Very, very cool, absolutely love it. So this is the Ruark R7. As I say, that's not my full review, but I just had to show it to you today because I've been so, so impressed. Absolutely stunning piece of kit. And I mean that, it is a lot of money. It's uh, 2,000 pounds, so it is a very, very big investment. It comes with these legs at the bottom which you can obviously stand direct onto a carpet or you can put little tiny feet on it as well and then stand it on a desk. Or I was thinking, if you had this sort of setup, this is my uh, sort of AV equipment here, you could have it underneath the television. So, another thing I want to show you while we're talking about speakers, this is the Orbit Sound uh, soundbar. I think it's called the SB60. We were having an issue with the sound on the television where the speaker was distorting Orbit Sound very kindly sent this out to me to test. This is amazing as well. It's not as good as that, but for the price, this improves the standard LED TV or LCD TV sound so, so much. And it also comes with a remote control, easy to connect, very, very easy to set up. Let me just give you a closer look at this. Let me move that out of the way. You can see that, that actually, somebody's gonna ask, that is off of the Samsung Gear Fit Watch. But anyway, back to the Orbit sound. Yes, it needs dusting. Let me just wipe that off. That was terrible of me. This isn't a prepared video at all. But this is really, really good. It is a high gloss black finish, as you can see. Very, very nice quality. It's got this grill on the front, which does come off. It's got some LED lights that come on behind the grill. As I say, it works by remote control, and it really does sound good. Very, very good. Best sound bar I've tested to date, that is. This is awesome. This isn't a soundbar. The Ruark R7 isn't a soundbar, but I was just saying you could put it underneath a TV if you really wanted to. I think it would spoil the aesthetics of how that looks. But still, onwards we go. Over in this corner here, I wanted to show you the mess where I've been recording. This is what it looks like after a recording day. I wanted to also show you this. Uh, I mentioned this in another video because I was setting up uh, oh, quite a while back, probably about two weeks. This is a Samsung sort of IP security camera, and it's been very disappointing actually. It works nicely uh, for sort of simple use, but you can see here I've covered up this sensor. I was trying to get it to work properly, but it just, you know, let me just take this off. This is so for such a frustrating product, I tell you. It clicks on and off all the time. It's got a sensor in here because it's got some infrared lights around, so it works with night vision. Um, I was experimenting with this to see if it would stop it turning on and off, but it blinking doesn't it. It's such an annoying piece of kit. I mean, it streams okay. It's very limited in what you can use it for. It comes on its own little stand. There is meant to be a little metal base in the bottom here, but I removed the metal base just to see what it was for. I think it's for like cable management and now it won't even snap back in. So I've been a little bit disappointed with how this actually works. Uh, video quality, mediocre, not that fantastic, uh, but it's okay. And it works either wired, you can see the sort of uh, network connection there for an ethernet cable or wireless. Uh, plenty long cable as well on it so you could uh, install it on a wall. That's what that metal base is for actually, so you can actually screw it to a wall 
and then you can use the ball joint on the back so that you can rotate it into the right orientation but i just wanted to show you that just a little bit of an update if you're looking for something that's easy to connect but without many features then it's worth checking out but if you want something that's a bit more fully featured that maybe offers some recording uh, maybe just a little bit more flexibility and a bit more quality then look elsewhere but it's it's okay it's just okay uh, but i'm sort of not it wouldn't be something that i would spend my money on so anyway let's come back over here and sit down i've been speaking for so long that i'm out of breath let me check my watch for the time how long have i been rambling on about 10 minutes i've been rambling on so that is it that's my day i'm absolutely shattered my voice is going because i've been recording as well today but it has been a good day really enjoying i'll tell you about this as well really enjoying the galaxy s5 let me just unlock it with the sensor on the front come on unlock there we go really enjoying this this is a very very good phone um, I've been enjoying the actual camera performance on this and I just reviewed back the 4K footage that I recorded the other day and it works extremely well. It's very, very clear. Stabilisation isn't that great. Audio isn't that great. Um, the front-facing camera, absolutely terrible. You'll see when you watch yesterday's video, so if you haven't watched it, do check it out. Uh, front-facing camera, absolutely terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go, the rear-facing camera and the overall feel of the phone, really, really good. So that's it for my day. Totally tired, ready to have a cup of tea and relax the rest of the day, I think. The kids are actually on holiday because they're still in their uh, second week of their half-term holiday. So I think I'm going to take some time off now, have a cup of tea, chat to the kids, and then possibly we'll have a takeaway or something today as a bit of a treat. So it's been a a few days since we've uh, sort of all eaten together it's always been a rush and my sore throat from the other day is still extremely sore so um, not that impressed with that those salt and vinegar pringles that i ate the other day didn't work i think i need some uh, medicated lozenges instead maybe that's a better idea totally messed up the end of the video so i thought i'd record it again what i was saying was i hope you've had a fantastic day obviously thanks for watching my video let me know what you think of that Samsung Galaxy S5 video footage from the other day. Really interested to hear your opinion on that. Also, let me know what smartphone you're running at the moment as well. Let me know if you've picked up a, a Galaxy S5 and what you think of it. And what you think of this new wearable technology with the new uh, Gear Fit Watch. I'm really liking it. So, that's it for today's video. I will see you all in the next one. Please, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.